Right now, I'm going to show you a method to bring back natural color to a photo with any kind of colorized lighting. So I don't know if you've ever had this kind of a challenge. Your face with a photo like this has been shot under heavy gels and you want to put regular colors back on it. Now that seems like something that would be very difficult or if not impossible to do. Uh, but now because of some of the newer features in Photoshop, this can be done in just mere seconds. And let me show you exactly how I would approach this. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose Image, Adjustments, and then just go down to Desaturate. Now you can hit Command Shift U or control shift U on, on Windows, and that will do the same thing. So the first thing we do is we're getting rid of the color. All right, color is gone. And notice it's kind of the mid-tones are very dark. So let's hit control L for levels. You could also do this with curves. Levels is very quick though, because um, you just take this white point right to the beginning of that histogram. So just drag that over to the beginning of the histogram and then adjust that mid-tone where you want it and then click OK. So now we've got a nice clean black and white image. Now we want to apply the color again. So now we're going to use the neural filter inside of Photoshop. If we go under filter, go down to neural filters. So the neural filters are going to open up. These are the AI powered ones. And then just go down to colorize. Click colorize and watch what happens. Boom, we've got our color. Now you can influence the color by moving some of these sliders, like maybe move the yellow a little bit, you can get a different kind of a feel there. Notice that, or even the red, just be very kind of subtle with these, because a little change can go a long way. Watch this. See, it says very easy to influence, just a little bit further than you want. So we can get some interesting tones here into the greens. Uh, I'm just gonna reset that back to where it was. Just click OK. I'll put it to a new layer. So I'm having a lot of fun playing around with some of these neural filters in Photoshop and also trying to use them in different ways maybe that they were originally intended. And you can see this is a great way to get rid of a, a color cast that would otherwise be impossible to get rid of. Check out my previous video where I dig a little bit deeper into some of these neural filters as well as the depth of field one. Um, I'll link it in the comments or you know underneath there. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments underneath what you think of this. Do the AI powered filters do you find these as useful utilities or are they scaring you? Do you think maybe they're going to replace you? I'd be curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments underneath. And by the way, guys, if you're new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos from me. And if you guys like this, do me a favor, hit that like button. What it does is it helps us with the algorithm in YouTube. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. And don't forget to check out all our other tutorials right here.